the PC Chess Club. This is a short video tonight because as you can see it's all dark, pitch black, but we have lights on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We have lights. Great, great. Safe. Stay safe. Uh, we brought a measuring wheel so we could go out here and mark off the area. We're going to be putting a uh, God, where do I start? We're going to be getting a projector screen that is 10 and a half feet high and 24 feet wide. Hi, Shadow Baby. Say hi to all the kids out there, YouTube and Facebook. Oh, I know. Don't try to hump my leg. <laughs> I know. There's your little buddy. There's our newest little addition. Say hi, Sandy Sue. Anxious little puppy that eats like crazy. And her name is Sandy Sue. Marianne named her. Marianne, my girlfriend. She named her Sandy. Sandy Sue. So the name stuck. And you can see she wants to get it. Shadow. Yeah, I'm going to bite him. I'm going to bite him. Arr, wrestling match. Oh, wrestling match. Um, she is part shepherd and something called English Mastiff. If anybody could leave a comment below and tell us about how big those breeds get. Uh, English Mastiff and German Shepherd. He, this one, hey, on your butt, stop, she's a puppy. Uh, we will have, no, 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 that's fine. Michael, what's your name? He will do. Yeah, I'd like to invite you. Come on out. We'll be here Thursday nights. It's free. There's no cost. All right. Well, I just want to charge my tablet. Oh, no. Come on out. Charge your tablet. Pick a spot anywhere. I'm just going to sit down there. Yeah, you okay? sit down there and charge your tablet. Okay. Sandra, that's fine. Nice to meet you. Um, we will be here Thursdays about 6 to 10. And I'm just doing a short video with a GoPro for um, Facebook. We're going to show what all we got, all the boards, the colors, all the beautiful colors of pieces. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we will be at 3rd Thursday, 4th and Main at Spiva Park. And Marianne will be there. She has all the uh, goodies table. She has the Teddy Grahams, the ice cream, all the snacks for the kids, little juice boxes, Capri Suns. She does the food, the helium balloons, and the stickers. I'm just the chess dude. <laughs> I just do the chess. Uh, at the end of the month this month, we're going to be adding a total 12 tables. We're going to have 12 tables, and we're going to make a pit stop over at Walmart because we're going to get uh, those big umbrellas, big patio umbrellas. So we're going to be at Spiva Park, that big tree over in the uh, northwest corner. The, the big shade tree. We're gonna have 12 tables with little umbrellas, well with big umbrellas, and it'll be nice and cozy because you'll have a table for four, and we'll put two chess boards on there. We've got a bunch of games for the little kids, like preschoolers, but we're looking forward to adding a uh, projector screen that actually goes one, two, three, four, about to the fifth one, or no, maybe fourth one, yeah. It goes to about the fourth post. It goes all the way across from over here to the other side, which is 24 feet wide and 10 and a half feet high. It'll cover all the way up there to the roof, that arch, that midsection, and what you would call wall to wall. So that's just the screen. Once you put it on a frame and you get it another two or three feet high, you're looking at 13, 14 feet high. So we're going to put it, I measured off down there by that big tree. Was Sandra with it? Yeah, what we're going to do, Sandra, is we're going to put the frame down by that big tree down there so the folks coming out of uh, 4th Street and coming out of Walmart, yeah, they can see it. And that's your best ad in the world, this giant chessboard. Yes. And it'll just be real simple. It'll have a big chessboard. And it'll say, it'll say, yeah, it'll say uh, big chessboard, giant chessboard. And it'll just say chess here, Thursdays, 
six to ten. And it, and a lot of people, as you can see, like cars going by. It's gonna be. They said the people we talked to. It's called uh, Carl's Place. They make like movie screens for movie theaters. And they said the screen were partly sponsored by them. That's one of our sponsors. And um, the screen is half as long as a semi tractor trailer. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's huge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a projector hooked to it, and then we've got what's called a DGT board. It's a, it's like a chess board with little sensors in it. Every time you make a move, it updates on the projector. So people driving by will see people playing a game of chess, and it'll be this giant chess board they're playing on. I think it's gonna fill up. We don't want to start bringing out like refreshments and helium balloons and stuff just yet. That'll be later on. Right now, uh, what we're doing is we're going along like these are black boards and then they're white and gold pieces. And then these are from one of our other sponsors. Uh, they're little timers and they do combos. He won't bite you, but he will maybe lick you to death. But um, there's charger outlets all along here on both sides. And these are little timers awesome. out of China. Uh, we have a sponsor for our clocks for the kids. They sponsored all the kids for 25 clocks wow. and for 33 of these little timers. Oh, awesome. They do both. They do timer and stopwatch. Mm -hmm. So you have one less thing to carry because yes. the kids have like timer in one hand, stopwatch in the other. Yeah. So to teach them like anything from autism or ADD, uh, like your your special needs kids yeah. what and even your gifted kids these timers uh, what they'll do is they'll repeat two to 99 times they'll repeat up to 99 times so you have two times on here like the first time might be two minutes and that's their time to think about the game right. and times up it beeps so then they know, they, move, they know they have to make a move and you let the second timer go for like about 30 seconds. So that gives them time when they're playing, it has two minutes to think about what you're gonna do and then beep, 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 time's up. And then you got about 30 seconds, like for kids that are slow to mm -hmm. like say, okay, yeah. And then we give them pencil and paper and you'll see on all the boards, yeah, they have letters, letters and numbers. Uh -huh. So every square has a letter and number and you never get them mixed up. So that's awesome. And what happens is we give the kids a pencil and paper and it's like their little uh, DVD scrapbook. Right. So they learn to record the games, to write down all the moves. Right. And then what happens is they pass all the papers up. We give them a copy, we keep a copy. And they could take it home and show their parents, like, how did you do? i show you. Yeah. And it's like hit and rewind on the tape. Awesome. You can back it up and go back from the start. Yeah. Maybe they've got a friend or family member that plays and says, let me take a look at it. Yeah. So instead of expecting kids or even adults to remember what 40, 50 they, moves, yeah. you know, they, I made 40 or 50 moves. Yeah. It was a long game or, or it went 100 moves. Yeah. It was forever. We just give them pencil and paper, write it down, and we give them erasers so they can erase and they're taught it's okay to make a mistake. Like, I wrote this down. Yeah. Oh, I wrote the wrong letter. Oh, I wrote G, I meant H. Right. And it, whatever it was, if they misspelled it or wrote it down wrong, just erase it and correct it. It's no big deal. Right. And I think it's really cool. Like, you can see on here, there's a whole bunch of what's oh, wow. called presets. Right. So you just pick a number, basically, oh, Sandra. Oh, often it just sets it. It, it sets it. And it sets it, yeah. Cool. You just pick a number and it sets it. And I can go in as the teacher, instructor, coach, whatever. I can go in and if we have a kid over here that's like a little kid or young kid, uh -huh. even if they're the same age, this one's just starting out. So we'll add another two or three minutes. We'll give them some more time to think about it. And this one, 
the little hustler on this side will just minus ee, 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 yeah, yeah. and we'll take off some time because which will help we'll twit benefit him actually yeah instead it, of giving him so much time he can second guess himself instead of taking that first move that he should have that he wanted to take yeah 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 because uh what it will do is with the timers like from a clock you, you can just make a move stop the time they make a move they stop their clock and you can see at a glance like where the yes, red is the you yes. can see the colors it's really simple really cool and you can see like whose move is it you see red if yeah. you see the other side yep. it's their move yep. so you know you keep track of who's who's who's, who's yep. and, then you're and then with these what we do because these are like countdowns right we give them one of these and we let them play during the game sandra and we tell them, we're going to show you how to put it in stopwatch. So as soon as they push their button, hit your button. Yeah. And then when you're done, stop it. And then write down your number. It says uh, you did like a minute and a half. So when they're writing down the moves to the game, they'll write on their, on these are practice games. Uh -huh. On their practice games, they'll write down the time. Like I used a minute and a half. So when we have the projector up there, like the puzzles, we'll have all the rows out here. Everybody will be doing puzzles. See, instead of putting the tables the other way, everybody has to spin around, crook their neck, turn all your tables this way. Because it's more comfortable. You're sitting here. You just turn your head. You just turn your head. Yes. And you can put these timers on so that, like, everybody has, like, a minute. And it'll beep, and then you show the next puzzle. Beep, show the next puzzle. And it just kind of moved the pace along. But you can set the timers so that if you have like a kid's row over there, mm -hmm. you can set it for maybe two minutes. Right. Where like your teenagers, you could set it for a minute. And then you come over here and have like a row of adults. You can set it for like, we're just going to give you guys 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys, you guys need to know this. You guys have yes. been doing this forever. You should know this by yes, now. Yes, yes. It's like if you had a, like a little math test mm -hmm. for the little kids, you'd give them more time to think about it. They're just learning. But like if they're in high school or college, uh, you guys should know you. this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, bring them on up. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to show that it's more about learning and growing both on the board and off the board because you can find a lot of places like uh, Joplin Chess Club, for instance. They meet at Hardee's. They don't use these little countdown timers. They don't use stopwatches. They rarely, if ever, use a clock. So when they do a tournament, you have to use a clock. So a lot of the kids will get intimidated, and even the adults, they get intimidated by, I've never done that clock thing. I've never done that clock thing. Where they come here, and it's like on the tables, oh, they always have these timer things and stopwatches and little clocks, and they're so used to it, it's second nature. They're so used to it that when they go to a tournament, they're more comfortable with it. And, um, yeah, and I like these little timers. We're probably going to add some more so we can, like, fill up that row over there. And the really cool thing about them is they're kind of like dual purpose, you know? They'll do stopwatch and they'll do timer. So if you need to motivate the kids, uh, their leap, L-E-A-P is the sponsor. They sponsored all the kids for the timers and the clocks. And I thought that was really awesome. And um, these clocks are almost identical to a really expensive clock that's about $100. So it's like if you look at these, if you bought the expensive name brand, you'd be looking at putting out like $2,000, $2,500. It'd be a couple thousand dollars. And 
the thing that I really love about this, this whole setup out here, is the colors. It's it's not just it caught your eye. Thank you. It's not just black and white. It's all the colors. Like uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This is a purple one. Like you could see, like. It's a purple one, and then I've got uh, yellow, yellow and orange. And orange. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. This is cool too. And what I like about this too is um, when you add different color boards, like we're going to be adding some brown and some orange color boards. So what we'll do is we'll use little timers when they do group activities, or if the kids are going really slow. If you need to motivate them, then what you can do is you can have the kids get on a little timer instead of like a little chess clock. And so you can have that timer go and say, uh, set it for like two minutes. So it's going to beep and it won't, it won't have two different timers. It'll just beep every two minutes. It means they just need to make a move. You get about two minutes to think about what you're doing and then make a move. And it's not whether you make a really great move or a silly move or even a stupid move. It's all about time management. It's about learning to get things done and manage your time. So we're trying to take it one step at a time. We'll put the colors out. And then like here, we got them a pink board and we got pink and white balls. And then we come over to here and we've got a burgundy where this is, wait a minute, yeah, this is red. This is a red, and it's just white and black. It's a red board, but this is a little bit darker, a burgundy, almost like a, a red wine, a wine color, and it's just black and white. So what we've done is traditionally they're just green and white or black and white. Like a so what we did was we kept the traditional colors. We didn't make big changes on this table. All we did was change out the boards. We got a burgundy or we got a red. And then like here, these are more your traditional. That's just black and white board with black and white pieces. The same, these are all black and white pieces. That's a green and white. That's all black, that's all black. We got green, we got green. And they're just the traditional colors or like your tournament colors so what we will do we'll put like players that are more tournament oriented we'll put them over at these tables here and then down here we changed it up a little bit we have a black and white board but then we used um i think this is our aqua these uh green here i think these are aqua might be wrong on that and then these are gold these are just white and gold on a black and white and then here we did purple and we did uh, purple pieces on a purple board and we did silver and purple and then here we did uh, it looks almost black but it's not it's a navy blue it's a navy color so what we did here Sandra Oop, fix that little piece. What we did here, no, no, for Facebook. Yeah, so uh, just to take pictures. So what we did here was we used a navy board, and then we just used white and red, red and white. And then we had them, like with the letters along here, we had them all go in the same direction. So like the ones that would be playing on whatever side is white versus black, they would know. Like white wouldn't have white, they'd have silver. And then the other side would have purple instead of black because we wanted to go with a purple theme. We wanted to do a purple pieces on a purple board for the ones that love purple. <laughs> for the ones that love purple, there you go. And then here, um, these were a little bit different. The color of blue was just a little bit different. Like 
These were a, a darker, a more navy blue, all of those. And that's a blue, a royal blue board. So we used a neon green and a little bit darker blue. And then over here, we used, uh, because we didn't want it to be too dark, we had a navy board, so we lightened up on the blue. And we put just like a royal blue, a more brighter blue, and we used the forest green. Yeah, we used the forest green versus like a royal blue, green versus blue, on a darker navy board. And the thing about these navy boards is they fall somewhere between like your blue on your color spectrum. They're somewhere between like a darker blue to almost a black. So they're a little bit easier on the eyes than just staring at black and white. If you're gonna be there for a while. This one, uh, the purple board, and it was yellow versus orange. And I think, yeah, that's our burnt orange over there. These are the regular orange. I like that one. The yellow versus orange on the purple board. Pink and white for girls. Those we already covered. And then over here, <laughs> over here, these are, these are like a single weight pieces. What we did is we got like, you can feel like that's the queen on that one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That is a lightweight one. And then like feel the queen on this one. That's what it's called a triple weighted. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah. It it's more right. heavier weighted. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's, it's a heavier piece. Right. So what we did here was we used more traditional, like your uh, green chest. and regular chest, yeah. like tournaments. Uh -huh. These would be like, this, these here sets, these reports, these would be like a tournament set. This would be black and white pieces right. on just green. Uh -huh. These would be a black board, black and white board, and it would be just your black and white pieces. And then what I did is I left out like on the boxes, you can see clocks and boxes, yeah. Yeah. and you can see all the clocks, so they don't say they don't say in the video. Maybe that's just an empty box. <laughs> Maybe you just have a box out there. Right, right, right. Yeah. No. no you got a clock. Or they say, "Well, I see the, I see the picture. Why don't you show me the take box. it out? Or yeah, show me the timer. Yeah. Yeah. Show me, show me the little clock. Well, show me the little is. timer. Right and so there it is. Okay, this yeah. right here, you can see the difference in the yes. orange. Yes. Yes, right yes, here, yes. this orange, that's a regular orange. This one's called a burnt orange. That's what I started to say. It looks more burnt than... Yeah. yeah. Oh, and so I did this one here. I did With a black one. board, both black boards, yeah, but I did a white and orange. I like that. It looks good. Like that? Yeah, it does. It does look good. I like that you changed this color here to a pink. It's, like a, a, it's like a red. Is it red? It's a red. I'll, I'll show you the, so pink, the pink one right there. Okay, my bad. Yes. So here, so I used a burnt orange for white. And I used red instead of red and white. Right, yep. I used red and That's I used good. a burnt orange. I just wanted to change it up a little yes, bit yes. to show that, like the burnt, the orange over here, uh -huh. you have just this different shade of orange. And mixing it up just makes it, it more, it more interesting, actually. You know, I mean, just plain black and white can get a little. <laughs> it's like, oh man, there you go. Oh man, so yeah. Like this there. one is going to be a really good one for girls versus boys yes, yes if the boys think they're better the girls want to show them let's <laughs> just go, play girl. one you go no, girl yeah yeah Absolutely. so the girls naturally instead of the whites on that side blacks over here right. the girls will get pink and the boys will get blue they'll get like a royal blue bright blue this is that forest green yeah, that's a pretty green. And, and then a yellow a yellow yellow, yellow green and i wanted to kind of put green pieces some kind of green pieces on a green and white board yeah. and then i wanted to change up on the white pieces it makes everything bounce that yellow does mix it up yeah and then here oh, this okay. was a classic oh, yeah. this was the silver and gold like your christmasy colors right, right. it's just green and a lot of it is sometimes just making little changes here and there it makes a big difference yes, it does. yeah you you don't have to like put crazy color boards no. and crazy color pieces it might be just It might just be like this. You take a regular board and then you show them, you can build on it 
little by little, like the one that we had down there that was white and some other color. Yeah. They can buy these individually. I don't sell them, but you can buy them from the United States Chess Federation. And basically, you could buy them online, or you can like call 1 800 King or 1 800 388 King. And basically, you could start out with white and black, and then you could add a set of gold pieces. And you could go white over there, and then put silver over here, white and silver, white versus gold. You could buy just two of them, keep the same board but go silver versus gold yeah, cool. and then the last but not least ta -ta -ta, this is called an off-white that is a little bit easier if like in the daytime if you have bright sun out here yes. easier on the eyes and it don't easier play. on the eyes yes, yes. yep so i put just a blue on here the, this yeah, uh basic blue and you could see like on this one the shade of blue is, is different than, than that blue or in that blue over there. Where this one, you'll see. Yeah. This is the this is the brighter blue yes, yes, right yes. there, and it's this a is a darker, darker. Uh -huh. a little bit darker. Yeah, and then this one is a totally different color. Yeah, it's like a yeah. blue. This one, I'll take color. this king. <laughs> Follow me. Come right over here and match it up to one of these. It, it will match up with one of these. Not not on weight, but on right. color. Right. Try to match it up. Make, make sure we get the right one on the right e. one. Okay. Okay, and then compare the color on here. Oh, wow, check that out. It does. <laughs> that's cool. I'm really, that's yeah. cool. And then any time that they get mixed up, you can always yeah, tell by the weight. weight. Yeah, yeah, you can always tell by the weight. See, these are a little bit darker. Like, I take this over here, and I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Oh, I get yes. a match. Yes. I get a match. Yes, yes, I do. So, I know that these colors match up. Whereas, if I bring this guy over here, matches up. But then I come down not here, so. here. Yeah. not quite, yes, it's not a quite. Bit yeah. And so that's a that's a subtle difference. What we would be showing that would be a real subtle difference. It would be something like uh, a white or an off white. It would be a navy blue or a royal blue. Yeah. It'd just be like a little bit, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker something like that yeah. and there's a lot of ways to really build this and really spice it up out here well i'm gonna let you get to your video it's been great thank you very much for thank explaining you. everything to me this is awesome this is great and word of mouth is always a good advertising oh, yeah yeah so you like this idea with the uh yes, little that. timers yes. they do timers and stopwatches yes. So you can put it on a little timer and it's just automatic. Yeah. And it's just a reminder because so just thinking about move, you know, and then you've got a time actually that looks very beneficial. I mean really, because when you're at your house you gotta tell them that it's time to move. Come on now. Really? Come on now. Or like when you're trying to get them to do stuff around the house or get chores done. Yes. And they'll be there all day, like maybe you want them to get some one. dishes done. Right. You want them to, to sweep, grab a broom and sweep something. Right. Can you sweep that up for me? And I am here an hour later and where's the broom? Yes, yes. Yeah. So little things like this, they're just little automatic reminders. If that that's is, beneficial too. If that is know. something that they make a little move and they have to remember to, to do yeah, the yeah. little clock thing, these are on autopilot. So we just set it if we want if we want the game to be fast paced, yeah, we'll have this thing beep every thirty seconds or a minute. 
and we can set it, you can set it for like 10 seconds. Now the clocks also have a setting in there that you can adjust whatever time you want, yeah. but they have one that's automatic that this thing will give you 10 seconds for every move in the game. You can do whatever you want, you, you play forever, but you only got about 10 seconds, seconds yeah. and you gotta hurry up and do something. Do something. And you can, like I said, you can adjust those times. That's you can have it every 30 just seconds. Just to know that hit that, you know what I mean? So it's like, okay. One thing I really like about these that made us go with this, we had a choice of stopwatches. We had three choices. We had stopwatches. We had, when we were talking to our sponsor, they said, what do you want? What do you need for the kids? We do timers. He uh, gave up. He gave up. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's him, and that's her, Sandy Sue, oh, her. Okay. little little girl over there asleep. Yeah. Well, she was whining earlier when you were talking, but she, yeah, she she tuckered out. She gave, <laughs> she gave up. <laughs> Maybe a good thing, huh, Dad? Yeah. yeah. So what we did is we talked to him, and they said, "What do you want? What do you need?" And I said, "We need something that's a combo, so there's less stuff to carry. Okay. We have a lot of stuff to carry already." Yeah. And they said, "Well, we have one item." special item that actually does both. It will do stopwatch and it will do a countdown timer. Yeah. So you can do either or. And I said, well, we mainly need those little timers and we need the one that'll re repeat about a hundred times. And they said, what for? And I said, if we're giving them a little test or a little puzzle, I wanna set it. So instead of saying you have 20 minutes for 20 questions, I want to set it so that they still have 20 minutes, right. but about every minute it'll beep to and, it and just write something. Doesn't matter whether you get it wrong or right, right, right. right. just so pick know. one. It's time to move on. Yeah, yeah, so they're not sitting there for like five or ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. how'd you do that? <laughs> and they're not going to sit there for five or ten minutes waiting to do something. No. You're, you're going to motivate them. And it's not a thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an in-ear thing. It's not somebody telling them that they yeah. have to throw pressure there. And you can have these things beep for one second. Uh, I think it's one second, three seconds, five seconds, or nine seconds. Right. So you can have that thing go for a minute, and then as you want them to start paying attention to what's going on around them, you set it so it only beeps for a second. A minute goes by and beep, and then another minute goes by, beep, and it's not really intrusive. It's not like it's no. gonna keep going beep, beep, right. beep, beep. Right. It's just gonna beep, okay, time's up. So what we'll do if we want them to be on even pace, we want them to time out, yeah. is we'll set it for about 55 seconds. So it'll start beeping a couple seconds before that minute. That way, it lets you, them know, and then they can make the decision. On, yeah. On their, Give them a five or ten second window, yeah. and they'll finish out 20 questions in 20 minutes. Yeah. And that way, like as you can see, all the tables, all we do is we just have them look that way instead of having to turn around all the way around yeah. behind you, crook your neck. Yeah. And it's time consuming too, have to turn around. Yeah. But, you know, this way, all you do is turn you your lose, head and you look you lose look down there. There's distraction there because you, you have to turn away from the yeah. board. You can knock pieces off. Uh, check you this know? out real quick. See what you think of this. Oh, this is one thing I forgot to show you, but is really really helpful. And he, he won't bite you. He might he might lick you to death. Come over here. This is a little board. It's called a little analysis board. Okay. And it then really that's me. That's me, that's me, Charles Michael Farron. Right. And property of Grandmaster Charles Michael Farron. And we do classes, lectures, training, workshops, oh, that's simuls, perfect. blindfold, podcasts, webinars, seminars, clinics, oh, a lot. And then these are our social media, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Skype. Okay. I teach and coach online, so I use Skype and a webcam I don't necessarily need to see them, but a lot of times they want to see me. Yeah, yeah. And they can put a face to a lesson. Listen, yeah, yeah. And then this is Twitter, and then there's Twitch TV, does live broadcast. Cool. And Google Hangouts, 
that's changed now it's called YouTube live and then just email us but on these little boards they're small enough that you can put a board and let's come over and grab another board you can put a board on here Sandra Oh, and nice. yeah. you can let the kids or adults do the puzzles. The thing I said with a timer yeah. and do the puzzles. Yeah. They have their own little chess board. That's awesome. So you take these. Have these? Okay. Follow me? Yep. Come right over here. Like this way, madame. And ta da! Real simple. And just turn your letters one way or the other. So you have these guys sitting here playing. A game, right. and then when you want to do these, put one on the other side, and I got one over here. Now you have a little board where there's room for he's, he's like world's he friendliest to, dog, he, he's a little lovey dovey he's, dog. So, what we do on here is we have little bitty chess pieces. So you're using the same one, but because sometimes you get these little knobs. bolts, yeah, yeah, little yeah, knobs yeah. or whatever, yeah. it's kind of hard to run four chess boards along here it without is. maybe hitting something. Yes, it is. And another thing too is with this idea, you can do either or. Yeah. You can have them be playing a game, take a break you don't have to move anything no, easy. you have this little thing here set up yep. and perfect. you set, thank you Thanks. you set the little timer and you show them I'll have one up there and I'll show them how to set it and we'll set it for like uh, 20 repeats and we'll set it for close to a minute and then I'll flash a puzzle up there which will be like a chess board with pieces uh -huh. and then I'll let it sit for a little bit, give them some time to think about it, because it's going to say go, and then it's going to start automatic. So the, this whole group, they're, they're all going to be on the same page. Right, right. And what will happen is this thing will start, and they can look up there, and they can grab their pieces and set it up and try to walk through it. Like, oh, this is what I ought to do. Oh, that's going to work. Oh, no, that won't work. And then we'll flash the answer. And we'll give them a little notepad. With, uh, we'll give them a little notepad with pencil and paper. And they can write it down. Uh, we'll give points, declare a winner, keep score. That's just, that's but cool. we're going to have them write it down so that we can see what they missed. And that way, when everybody's done, uh, we'll be able to compare notes, see who got what, how many people got it right, who missed it, how many missed it. Oh my gosh, 70% of the people in here missed this. Ah, how could this be? So we're going to have a little little pop quiz lesson here, a little awesome. five-minute lesson. And the one that most everybody missed, now that we know, like yeah. pass all your papers, have somebody come around and collect all the papers, yeah. um, what we'll do is we'll see and i'll tell you something really hilarious here in a minute really make you laugh it's really super cool the super cool this is a cool but the super cool comes after this okay. so what we do is we find out the one they missed we set it up again and we don't use timers we, we don't use that just like eh, no timers just think about it walk through it we're going to walk you through it we're going to go step by step and see what you missed because remember i said like every little the square little letters uh -huh. letters numbers whatever yep. they're going to write down the moves and see what they were writing down what they missed and why because if you don't know what you missed yes. or what you did wrong how are you ever going to fix it that's right that's right that's right how would you so fix you'd it? You'd be repeating it over and over and over again. <laughs> you wouldn't be getting it anywhere. Yeah, you just be so that's, repeat. That's, that's awesome. So, the super cool part that I told you about. Yeah, I'm ready for that now. We have these little devices. They're they're little, about three times bigger than this. Handheld devices. They're called clickers, and um, we had a company that helped us 
and they helped us uh, partly financially and we paid for part of it and they were part sponsor. I don't know if you say sponsor by giving you a, they sponsor you by giving you a big price break or what, but uh, we didn't pay the full price, but they retailed for about $4,500. And they were like, these are 32 timers. Right. These were called clickers. They're by Promethean, the ones that like in the expensive private schools and the, the schools that are like California, they're yeah. more, more than Missouri. Right, right, right. Um, what they do is they use what's called a smart board. And it works with the teacher's computer and the kids can go up to the board and write on it. And it pulls up internet and all kinds of stuff. Well. That's great, but one of the things we really loved and we went with were those Promethean clickers. They're called Active Expressions 2. Now, remember I said the super cool part comes yes, next? Yes, yes. These things work in real time. It oh. saves all your answers on the computer for you wow. so that when we have a little puzzle, right. they can text whatever the answer is they can do multiple choice we're just like bam 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 and we're getting a lot done we're getting two things we're getting more done in the same amount of time and we're getting the same amount of stuff that the rivals and the other guys are doing but we're getting it done way faster we're, we're getting it done in a lot less time so we have time for the fun stuff it's kind of like uh, if you've got stuff to do like around the house and you're like, you probably have your own little system. Yes. You have a way that Don't works all, for you. Don't all. Yeah, we yeah. all have a way that yes. works for us. Yes, yes, yes. yes and yes. if somebody goes in there and tries to change it all up, it just messes you up. It does. And it, it just what do I do now? What do yeah, I start yeah. now? Slows you down. It does. Okay? That's part of being productive. These things will do... Uh, not these, but the little Promethean right. clickers. Right. And I gotta bring those out here and do a video on that. Uh, you should have been videoing this. Uh, yeah, you yeah, I, I, I should, I should. I, I spend more time either being the babysitter with kids, <laughs> uh, I spend time doing the marketing and promoting, and a whole lot less time actually playing, playing chess. Yeah, playing the game. Um, that's a great perfume, I, it smells great. What was it called? Oh, it's, uh, it's Axe for women? Axe? Oh, well, it smells great. It's, it's a compliment for you. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Thank you. I um, appreciate that. On these clickers, they do, you can set it's, it up. It's, it's in white, white uh, spray can, but it's white and pink with a black well, top. Hey, it works. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's flattering. Thank you. Thank you. And what happens with these clickers is if you want it to be fast-paced, you just put in the answers to be yes or no, true or false. And one thing you can do, just put a, put a little timer on there, it, it'll hold. One thing you can do, <laughs> stop the wind. So one thing you can do on these is you can set your questions ahead of time and you can have the number of tries. So what's comical is if you say this is a yes or no question and you get three tries well there's only two answers why do you get three tries now if if they take time to think about it they'll get the joke they'll get the punchline. like oh three tries it's yes or no three tries it's true or false you get three times three tries you you missed it and then <laughs> yeah. you, you do it again well you know if you let them have two tries and it's true or false there's only two answers the idea behind that is to have fun yes. and let everybody enjoy themselves because the idea is it's either yes or no. You, you click one, you get it wrong, and it's going to say, ain't try again, just hit the other and one. one. Yes, and yes, it just yes. keep it fast paced. Right. Now, if you did something like, uh, is it like on the who wants to be a millionaire? Is it answer A, B, C, or D? Right. Okay, right. you could allow more than one. And you can set these things up where you can do it like uh, take away take away two of the wrong answers, like 50-50. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. away two of the wrong answers. Oh, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll have a projector up there, yeah. and I'll put, is it A, B, C, or D? And then 
it's take away two of the wrong answers so it's a fifty fifty because you take away the two two of the answers one of the answers is right and then one is still wrong but it's a lot more fun and a lot easier than I got to pick out oh, of all four. four. Right. Yeah, yeah, I got I got to pick yeah. them all. How about just give me two? <laughs> yeah. And and you can yeah. do like a lot of ways to put the fun in it. Yes, you can. And that, so that's going to be fun. That's going to help a lot, a lot just keeping it fun. Yeah, eliminate the pressure there. We'll but take it away too. Yeah. Away. These things will do yes or no. They'll do true or false. The the little Promethean uh -huh. clickers, they do text input. Uh, you don't have to check them on spelling close enough and you just say like uh, who played for a world championship or uh, what's the name of this thing that we're doing today uh, you know and you can do what's called uh, rating scales on a scale of 1 to 10 how was today today sucks or today was awesome what? and you, awesome. You, yeah, you get the input like we have 32 so we have this row and we have this row right now that we can do um i think i got a quote on the company that was something like 175 or 180 dollars a piece so i'm going to stay with the 32. Yes, yes. <laughs> i'm not going to spend more money no. to go buy a bunch just to fill those tables yeah, yeah. what we'll do is we'll just do the 32 here or if you want them to work as partners, you put one clicker on the table, give them each a little board to figure it out, there you go. and then work together. That way everybody could play. You could everybody could play, play because you got 24 out here. Right, right. If you work them in teams or buddies, yes. you buddy up, yeah. then instead of you just have one board, and I think it's this way, no, I think it's this way, what do I do? Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll work my side, you work your side, yeah. and we're gonna work on this together, and it shows in real time. It'll show who got it and who missed it. And what it'll do is like on these, move this out of your way, yeah. on these little things here where it yeah. goes across a bar, okay, it'll show green, greens go like a stoplight. Right. It'll show green, they got it, it'll show a red box if they missed it. So the bar, it starts out, and it starts out as a bar, like a little timer. So it's showing, maybe you have a kid that's way out here, or, or maybe you're with adults that, like, you guys should know this. Okay, so you have adults going to here, another one to here, going to here, going to here, going to here, going to here, and then you have one that's way on over here. <laughs> You know, these guys are like, yeah. question one, two, three, four, and then you got this guy down here. I don't know what his deal is. He's still way out to here. Question number one. <laughs> He's still in the back of the class. He's still stuck back on number one. But um, what they'll do is when you hit the, there's a bunch of little buttons in the program. When you hit the button that says sort from fastest to slowest, and it'll have your names of your people. If you want to show it, you can show it or hide it. So you can hide it and keep it a big, I don't sell these, <laughs> but you can, it sounds like it. Sure could. But it, thank you. It's like you have all these little bars that are gonna show, and it's gonna show your fastest people at the top on top of their game and then your slower people down here so instead of going around and maybe asking if anybody needs help you can hide that keep that to yourself and you can spot it'll pinpoint the people that maybe need a little extra work or some maybe some help or something and you can actually with these little uh, clickers they can text you a question if they have a question they get like sit right here quiet they could just text you a question yeah, or awesome. you can text them a question and it, it's like a two-way communication yeah, yeah, yeah. and it keeps it on the down low it doesn't show it to yeah, the group quiet, or the audience quiet. it doesn't single people out oh, there you go you can hide the list of names like like say like here yeah 
you can hide this list of like say this is a list of names right, right. like name number one number two number right. three it's all names of people participating okay and you can see how everybody's doing like it'll show question one well okay now it's recording. so what you do here is you've got their name and you can see at a glance most of the boxes should be green but if it's like this checkerboard or chessboard it's all hit and miss and everything is simple yes or no answers and you're looking at remember i said it goes across and shows you how long it takes right yes. so if this thing is like uh you get two tries it's yes or no and most people are just going to use one answer they're, they're just going to take a guess at it go to the next one it means without them ever saying a word to you this person is obsessed with performance and results because every time they miss it like it'll show the box will be split yeah. and it'll show red and green and then you can go into the settings and make it show like just whatever your final answer is it gets green but it'll have a little x or check mark or something it'll show that they use two tries to get that right so it means that somebody is just blitzing out the answers hello yeah. and it, the, nobody is paying attention clueless they're just like click 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 blitzing the answers because they want to be way up here and they want to get like high score so the way that you handle it you don't call them out and you don't say we know what you did last summer <laughs> right. what you do is you motivate them and you change this up from a yes or no that gets two tries to one try oh make it think about it. So, yeah, yeah yeah because the idea is if you want to check the honesty give them a second chance but if you want to check the learning check the time because if it's a yes or no that first response should be something they have to think about not well let me see it's yes or no oh i got it wrong i have to think about it uh is it, if it's not yes uh it must be no. must be no uh, uh i don't know um well uh okay hit no <laughs> you know you got a problem then but if you're going through and you go right on down the line you look at each person and you go across all the questions they did you're going to want to mix them match mix them up so what you'll do is you'll go in and you'll put like a few yes or no you'll put some multiple choice that's the time when you look at like this was the first answer wrong second answer they spent no time thinking about it wrong too the first one they spent a lot of time they're just thinking about it I don't know I'm not sure what they're doing you know it's like I'm not sure what I'm doing I'm just gonna I don't know pick one hit it pick one well what happens is eh, wrong try again so <laughs> please come again so what <laughs> what happens is they get that second try and like that bam mm -hmm. they just go for it Went with it yeah. okay and ain't wrong <laughs> then yeah damn oh damn i got that one wrong so what happens is out of the four they've got that third one coming up and they just say screw it i'm not even, i'm done with this i'm not even gonna do it again because i got two wrong uh well, and I, think about it, right? I get that other one wrong forget it or what you do is you see that they get three out of four tries <laughs> first one long time ain't wrong oh, yeah. second one i'll just guess it nope i'll just guess it nope well i didn't use that my tries forget it so they go to the next one and you notice a pattern now they're doing the as many tries as they can get away with but you, you notice all these others are faster and faster and faster so it's people that are just blitzing through and just guessing just i don't know i want to hurry up and get this thing over with that's what they're doing they're wanting to hurry up and get it over with so if you can call them aside or text them or talk to them 
and find out none of this. We don't care about this. Find out what's going on in their life. Find out what's going on when they're not doing this or not doing something to unwind and relax. Do they have kids? Do they have grandkids? Do they have a, a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend? How's their relationship? How's their job or their work? Something else going on because the minute that it starts becoming boom, 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 boom let's just hurry up and get this over with. Got it wrong. I don't know. Pick another one. Nope. Go to the next one. There's something there that should pop or stand out. Now, the opposite is when you see ones that are blitzing out real quick right away and they're going real fast and they're getting them wrong. Now, you start going down further down and they start slowing down and they start getting them right. Maybe not the first one, but they spend a little bit of time. Let's say they spent like 20 seconds. Read the question, spent 20 seconds figuring it out, multiple choice, wrong answer, and they spend a little bit more time, and then they got it right, okay? And it might give you like, uh, the first one is 10 seconds, got it wrong, okay, I'm just trying to hurry through it, but if I take my time, that second try, I got it. And then the next one, I got it. And then you throw in a couple of questions where you only get one try. And you notice, you, you put in there, you only get one try. you know, Or you're gonna get three tries, so don't rush, don't, yeah. don't worry about it. Right. There's no pressure, it's not performance anxiety, you're gonna have to hurry. It's take your time, enjoy yourself. Be, be in the moment, right. enjoy the moment, right. enjoy yourself. And whether you go to the top of the mountain and you get all your goals and all your success, or whether you prioritize and you get a few things that really make you happy or a few things that really matter to you, that's going to be golden. That's going to be more than all of this. You know, those few games that you look back on where you were playing and you did the chess at the park, <laughs> if you're doing chess, the chess at the park is you're at the park, okay? So what happens, Sandra, is while everybody else is just doing a green and white board with black and white pieces, you're coming in and one time you got a purple board, one time you got a pink board, and you got gold pieces, and you got silver, and light blue, dark blue, and you mix up all the colors, you mix and match your colors, like obviously this is a silver versus purple, okay, but it could be on a red board, it could be on a green or, or yeah, whatever color, you can have a different color board and different color pieces, where this one just happens to be purple pieces and it happens to be purple board, you could change it, any color board. The idea is to become comfortable with change so that it's not about, it's about the journey, not the destination. It's about the people that you're here with, socializing and interacting with. That's where these come in. Where I said, you make memories, you work on it together. You try one way, I'll try another way. And that way we're getting twice as much done in half the time yeah. or let's let's do this like like see. like what you would do is you would say like i'll turn mine around here what you would do come here on your butt He's all right. He's what okay. you would do is i have you have a over there okay yeah. so i would turn mine so we would be Twinkies, and we would match up, <laughs> Right. okay? Yep. So when yours goes the letters the same direction, uh -huh. mine go letters the same direction. So what we would do is, like this would be filled with chess pieces, right. for instance, but what we would do is there would be some puzzle or whatever, or you could just call it out, you know, tell everybody. If you had those clickers, then you could just, like, <laughs> Pop quiz. Yeah, There's yeah. the next one to work on. <laughs> yeah. And 
what you would do is you would do this, Sandra. You would approach it one way, and I'll follow you, like a dance. Like, you ever see Dancing with Stars? Yeah. yeah. And one person leads and one person follows. Yeah. And then you dance. Yeah. If one person leads and one person follows, you have a dance. Yeah. Otherwise, you have a clash. Right. <laughs> and stepping on toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a, you have a clash because you, one person's leading and the other one's trying to lead. Or, come here, pretty butt. So, what happens is you try out an idea and I'll follow you, okay? Like, like we're dancing. You, yeah. you lead <laughs> and I'll follow your lead, okay? Right. I'll follow your lead. And then if we get all jammed up, if we get jammed up <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's working, then. I'll back up a step or two and I'll try to find the glitch or where it is or maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> I'm not seeing it right like maybe you are right okay yeah I'm not seeing it the same way. <laughs> Shorten my leash. Yes, no, that. That. no, Daddy, you're evil. You shortened my leash. <laughs> so what you would do is you would work on coming up with a solution, mm -hmm. and I'll work on coming up with a solution, and we'll cut our time in half. Because if <laughs> she's looking at look at that. I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's okay, Sandy Sue. It's all right. <laughs> so what we do is like a dance. One will lead and one will follow. So you approach the problem, try to come up with a solution. I'll try to come up with something, and it's a meeting of the minds. You meet in the middle, or like I said, like I'll follow your lead. Okay, and so it's easier if we reach a crossroads where there's like two different choices. Right. We can split up and meet back it in the lot middle. It faster, right? Yeah. yeah, because if it's a choice of either or, like say, take the piece, like there's a little piece there, you mm -hmm. take it and exchange pieces. Uh, what if they, like you have a piece here and you have a piece here. And they say, well, what if they take my piece and then we play it out and, okay, we'll play it where they'll take your piece or, well, what if I just take their piece? And it's one of those that there's a trade that's going to happen, but who's going to do the trading? You know, it, it's like there's a solution to the problem, but do I want this person to make the first move? Do I want them to come up with a way to make this work or do I have to just be a go-getter and just jump out there and just like show them how it's done? <laughs> be a go-getter and show them how it's done. Yeah. And on that I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And visit uh, the ladies room. <laughs> and it's been a pleasure. But I definitely have to take a break. <laughs> That's fine. Alright. Uh, as you see we 
cover a lot of stuff here and it's not always about the chest part a lot of times it's about what you're doing off the board as well as on the board and as you can see here with these old timers um, you have your own little chess board so you can be working on stuff like when we do puzzles at PC Chess Club what will happen um, when we do puzzles what will happen is they'll have either a stopwatch or a timer that they can use and they'll have their own little chess set so you'll be playing here in a game we'll take a break maybe like work on some tactics or in games or openings or something and you'll have the pieces where you can set up the pieces that you're gonna see down there or like if we call out where all the pieces go you can have a little board that you can follow along with you don't have to just play the moves in your head if that makes any sense you're not going to be stuck here playing all the moves in your head um, you will be able to have an actual little board to try it out and then another thing too that we do at pc chess club is uh, we will have the main game here and then over here we'll have what we call try it before you buy it so you take this game here like this is just a board set up but say you're in the middle of a game okay just for sake of discussion you're in the middle of a game and you get stuck somewhere and you want to try out an idea you have this little analysis board and you could set up your pieces on here just like in the game but to help you calculate and to calculate more moves ahead or to try out multiple ideas you set your notepad down here your pen and pen or pencil and paper your little notepad so you can take notes okay and you notate the game write down what it was or write down what move number if you've got like a score sheet write down the move number and uh, write down what the move was come over to here play out the pieces see how it plays out try out a couple of different ideas maybe you go three or four moves and then you discover oh it branches out and it goes this way or that way okay back up try another line etc so you can learn to calculate multiple lines or you go like every three or four moves and then branch try to find another good idea and then continue on down that line for say another couple three or four moves or five or six moves and you learn to calculate 5 10 15 20 moves ahead both sides it's not 20 moves like 10 moves for them 10 moves for me no it's more like 20 moves a piece so uh, tell us what you think in the comments below about all of this the setup like all the different colors all the boards tell us what you think about the idea using these using the little timers little stopwatches and what you can do is come on out if you're in Joplin Missouri come on out to uh, Shefford Echo Park on Thursday nights about 6 to 10 and we will be out here and you can see everything all set up there's clocks everywhere little timers we will have the Promethean clickers that uh, everybody will be able to use and participate with and it looks like that is a wrap we will say bye bye say bye bye Sarah baby there you go say bye bye Sandy say bye bye Sandy yes Oh. Hello, sweetie. Okay, there's a wrap. Ah, you are Henri. Henri. Shadow baby. Let's see what we get. I see you, Shadow baby. I see you as we walk up to the shelter and we see these rows upon rows of chess sets and chess boards and chess clocks. Woo. And we see the guard dog here. 
You see guard dog and we see little uh, we see little sweetie pie over there. Hold on, hey, we gotta wrap up and get out of here, man. We gotta be out of here by by eleven. So we got like about thirty minutes to get up out of here. So we see all of this and we do a walkthrough. We just see all this stuff all set up. And all we need now, folks, is you. That's what we need now. We need you. Look at all this. Got your name on it. Waiting for you to come down here. We are waiting for you. Buddy, tell you, we are waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, so much variety. A lot of cool colors. All these clocks. Ooh, it'll be a lot of fun down here. Lots of fun. Oh, is it ever. We're going to have so much fun down here. And you guys come check us out if you're ever in Joplin, Missouri. We are at Shifferdecker Park, shelter number two. That is all the way in the northeast corner of Shifferdecker, which is down by Shifferdecker and 2nd Street. And we will look forward to having you out here as a guest or visitor. And seating is limited, so the first 48 people will be able to participate because we use 24 clocks. So we will have 48 people that can participate. And then uh, after that, the seating is out. We don't have any more that we can be able to offer. But for those first 48 people, you lucky 48, you will have a blast out here. You will have a lot of fun. And we've got all the stuff. We just need you guys. Yep, seating fills fast. I will tell you that. Seating does fill fast. Oh, God, it does fill fast. Uh, it is Thursday nights, 6 to 10. And we are adding the... Um, Oh, what did I call it? I'm so sleep deprived. Oh, projector screen. It is 10, the screen itself is 10 and a half feet tall by 24 feet wide. So it goes from that corner over there all the way to the other corner. Yeah. So that is a big screen, my friend. It is a big screen. And it actually goes clear up, up here to the ceiling once you put it on a frame it goes way up there to the ceiling and all the way across but it's gonna go from it's gonna go from down there from one side all the way over to the other side yep it is a big screen oh a big screen indeed oh indeedy I don't think indeedy is an actual word is that an actual word? Chime in the comments below. Indeedy. It's a big screen indeedy. But it's a big screen indeed. I know that's a word. Uh, wanted to say we will be at Third Thursdays. And uh, that will be at Spiva Park, Joplin, Missouri. 64801. And we will be down there. You can't miss it. We'll be doing a food court tables and chairs for people to stop by and have a bite to eat there's plenty of food vendors but they're missing tables and chairs so we're gonna step up have a few tables and chairs people could sit and eat at grab a quick bite uh, we will have all the tables set up with big nine-foot patio umbrellas and the umbrellas are like almost from that post like they're like one of these picnic tables the picnic tables are eight foot and the patio umbrellas are nine foot. So if you can just picture one side of the umbrella all the way down here to the other side of the umbrella. Yep, that's a big umbrella. And we'll have a six foot table. We're gonna go ahead and punch holes. Well, not punch, <laughs> we're gonna punch holes. But we're gonna use the hole saw and we're going to uh, drill or cut holes through the folding tables and then we'll put the umbrella 
through there and we'll anchor it with a base at the bottom and uh, it should be really nice it'll look almost like a merry-go-round you'll have like uh, 12 umbrellas going around that tree in the corner and um, come check it out on third Thursday we'll have the tables and the umbrellas and the chairs all set up and we're going to add a couple of fans we'll be bringing fans down there so when it's hot you're gonna have a big cool fan to cool you off one of those uh, they call floor fans or high velocity floor fans big turbo fans You'll have one of those to create a breeze. If there is no wind, it'll cool you off. And uh, you'll have a comfortable chair and you'll be under the umbrella instead of baking in the sun, <laughs> letting the sun bake you and cook you. You'll be under a nice cool umbrella and a comfy chair. And you'll have all of this if you wanna play chess, if you wanna learn how to play chess. We would love to have you down there. And when it's not third Thursday, which is a Thursday, the third week of each month, March through October, you'll find us out here on Thursday nights from six to 10. And it will be fast paced, lively. We do speed chess, we do blitz, we do bullet, which we set the clocks for a minute apiece, and we play bullet chess and we play slow games we play 30 minute games we play 60 minute games game in 45 uh we even do some game in 90. so you'll have all different ones that you can go to like you might come over here like one of these uh black board with black and white pieces and you'll see people over here playing game in 90 and that game will go from six o'clock to nine o'clock they'll play one game each week but it'll be game in 90 we're going to be doing rated games as well so it might be a green one it might be a black one it might be a green one and what will happen is you might come over here and it might be game in 45 game in 60 or this could be game in 90 you know and then you play the rated game and we'll have little signs on the tables and it might be like this table you'll have a little sign here and it'll say g slash 90 you know game in 90 this one will say game in 60 this will say game in 30 or game in 45 game in 30 etc whatever times okay i'm running out of time i got less than 30 minutes I got to get all this stuff boxed up, packed up, <laughs> out of here, and be out of the park. <laughs> so I got about 20 minutes, and you see it's getting really dark out here. So I got to get Shadow Baby home. Hi, Shadow Baby. And I got to get Little Munchkin there, Sandy Sue, our little puppy. Got to get her home, get them fed, get the kiddos home. We call them the kiddos. Get the kiddos home, get them fed. And um, we fed them before we left. And then you can see we use this little deal here. If I get a flashlight real quick, I'll show you. We use that little water bowl if Sandy Sue's not sitting in her water bowl. And uh, I did write down some notes as to uh, what all we could do. I wrote down picnic tables when I was spacing these out here. How much walkway are we gonna have between each picnic table? So I went out first, measured it, and did a little quick math on that. And I wrote down measurements end to end. It was about 60 foot, side to sides about 24 foot. And I think it was just over eight foot uh, to the post. Let me get this out of the way. It was like eight foot up here to this top piece up here. And then from a post to another post came in at about eight foot. Now I know they say those patio umbrellas are nine foot, 
but when they kind of slope down a little bit they actually look to me and if you ever go to Walmart and see them take a look for yourself they might look the same to you because to me they actually look like they're closer to eight foot because they kind of angle and then on the other side so they look like they're about eight foot across not nine feet across but I think they're gonna work out nicely for uh, the sunshade we're doing them more for sunshade to beat the heat than we are for rain we're just wanting to get you guys some uh, shade Woo, gonna let my bag blow away we're trying to get you guys some shade I'm getting antsy here because I want to hurry up and get out of here you can see my time see my time here see I gotta be out of here by 11 <laughs> see that time Woo, dude dude uh oh dude see that time look at that oh man 10 30 already and we gotta grab we have to grab this wagon what we're gonna do <coughs> what we're gonna do my friend compadre is uh what I'll tell you what we're not gonna do i'll tell you what we're not gonna do because we don't have time we are not going to grab every one of these little bags and go look and say oh triple white we better put all the triple white in there nope 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 you might remember earlier in the video a um, new friend I met gonna be an assistant a helper out here help me get some stuff done that I need to take care of um, I think she said her name was Sandy Sandra oh just like Sandy Sue oh yeah Sandy Sue and then you got this chick out here named Sandra but um, like you heard me mention in there that it's about getting stuff done it's about uh, reaching your goals and about getting stuff done so why are you still talking dude you need to be we just seen the clock dude put that watch up there so we can see it show us that watch again look at that dude you gotta have time you, you gotta stop talking man wrap that turn that camera off wrap that video up you need to get that stuff packed up and out of here dude well dude I'll show you how to do this real quick like we don't have to do it all perfect my friend nope what we're gonna do as uh, show you as an example I'm a business major so my major is business administration and business management so what are you learning to manage I'm learning to manage all this and manage a bunch of little youngsters you can see here the little I don't know if it'll show up or not Disney Mickey Mouse Disney keychain work for kids oh we got defense spray too <laughs> yeah both two-legged and four-legged kind it's gonna suck if we have to whip out the pepper spray I mean it's gonna suck getting pepper sprayed but it's gonna really suck getting hit with the pink one <laughs> when you have to tell all your buddies you got hit with pink pepper spray and now you can't see to drive <laughs> you can't see to drive because your eyes are swelled shut so you can't make your getaway <laughs> that's okay the cops and the EMTs will come out here and they'll take care of you um, on to this we will just put all of these back in the boxes stick them back in that tub now we have single weight all of these are single weight so we're just gonna scoop them up throw them in a tub just we don't have time dude scoop them up throw them in a tub we'll sort them out when we get home we got plenty of time these are all single weight all of these and all of those those are all triple weight so we can sort those out later it's like dude i don't care man let's just wrap it up come on snap snap chop chop let's go just take all of this and start scooping all of these and put them in one of those one of those tubs and then same thing here all of these grab all your boards after you do that these we're going to round up stick them in that bag right there that takes no time at all clocks in boxes no time at all load them in that wagon let's go let's get out of here and that's how you get all that done in a real quick amount of time real short amount of time because we don't have time look at our time I'll show you look at our time so we can zoom in on that you guys can see we can't we'll get any zoom <laughs> there's no zoom on a GoPro my friend there is no zoom but what we can do is we can just scoop all these and start dumping them in that plastic tub and we put this row 
in this row, put all the triple weight in one tub. Just stick them over there, throw them in the tub, man. Don't care, just throw them in the tub. We'll sort them out when we get home. Take all your single weight, grab your single weight, come over here, follow me, over here, over here. Take your sum of those and stick them in here. Just start dumping them. Put all your triple weights and then dump some of your single weights in here because with that many, take a look here. I'll show you how to get things done real quick like my friend. We're not gonna be able to fit all of those single weight in here. There's, there's no way, space-wise, not time-wise, space-wise. This is a faster way. I would grab all those triple weight and just start throwing them in here because the clocks are gonna go either or. We, we don't care about that. They're gonna go either or. They can go down here and here. We got that. It's not a big deal. But I'm gonna shut this off now. Save the battery. And you can see, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna say maybe we could leave it on, but it might blow over. Ooh, then we wouldn't be filming anything, would we? We wouldn't be filming much of anything. I'll cut this video real quick and then um, get all this packed up here in just a few minutes. Then I will turn the video back on and you guys will be able to see. We'll mark the time. And our time starts. So we got less than 20 minutes to be up out of here so that we are out of here before 11, well within that five minute window. And time mark.